Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. Today I will uh, develop a theory of Hilbert Samuel polynomials and study the dimension of graded rings in general. So, just to motivate few sentences in the beginning, remember that when uh, when k is a field and polynomial algebra over k in n variables. We have seen the dimension of this ring is n. Um, the k vector space k x one to x n. And when I write suffix m, these are the homogeneous polynomials, monomials, um, vector space of monomials of degree less equal to m. So these vector space has dimension dimension of this vector space. Let me just abbreviate this kx suffix m. This vector space can consist of all homogeneous all polynomials of degree less equal to m and it is obvious that monomials of degree less equal to m form a k basis of this vector space and the number of monomials of degree less equal to m are precisely This is precisely n choose m plus m. I choose n, and this is a polynomial. Is a polynomial in m of degree. n. So, in general also I want to do that given a graded ring. So, more generally what I want to what we want to study is when you have a graded ring graded ring means uh, the model is a polynomial ring and the grading is given by the degrees. So, a ring is called graded if it has a decomposition like this R n, n is in n. So, this is a decomposition as abelian groups and also it satisfies this obvious if I take R n multiply by R m this is contained in R n plus m. So, this in particular these are not is a sub ring. And all, all these r n s all these abelian groups r n s are r not models. So, such a ring is called a graded ring and also to be more precise it is n graded. So, n is the index for the gradation. More generally one can also talk about uh, grading numbered by a monoid. So, this is a simplest monoid, n is a simplest monoid with addition. 
see it's a ring so the decomposition is abelian groups it's a direct sum of these abelian groups there is a multiplication there so to multiply the elements in r it is enough if you multiply by elements in rn and rm so that multiplication is given to us and with the property that it is if you would take a multiplication of an element from rn and rm it goes inside rn plus m r n plus m so this is a typical generalization of the polynomial rings so for example if you take a homogeneous polynomial of degree n and homogeneous polynomial of degree m then the the product is homogeneous of degree n plus m so imitating that generally one defines a graded ring as a direct sum of rn where n is varying over n and with the property that rn times rm is contained in rn plus m so in particular this gives r not is a subring of r and rn are all r models so in this case in the above polynomial case r not is a field actually therefore we could talk about the vector space dimension and so on so let us do little bit quickly about graded rings and models so let us digress about graded rings and models model example is a polynomial ring okay a graded so let us define definition a graded ring a is a direct sum decomposition of the additive group a plus so a is direct sum an an is in so graded ring a is a ring together with a direct sum decomposition of the additive group a plus this and which satisfies such that an times am this is the multiplication given in the ring that is contained in an plus m for all nm in n so in particular a not is a subring and all these ans are a not models elements of n are called homogeneous elements of degree n so typical example is a polynomial ring or any ring a not a not is any ring and if you take the polynomial ring a not x the grading is given by now 
this is a not x power n only one variable i am taking so this is these are the grid and obviously multiplication is the same as x power n so if you know this then you can generate the whole multiplication okay now ah uh, as i said it sometimes it is convenient to consider this is called n graded ring n graded sometimes it is convenient to consider z graded or more generally any gamma graded where gamma is arbitrary semi uh, monoid so the numbering will be denoted by some some monoid in that okay so this i don't know whether i will have occasion to to take generally general monoid but certainly n graded will be uh, useful okay so uh, now another definition is graded module so you, to con to define graded module you need an underlying ring to be graded so let a is an b graded ring and a module m um together with a direct sum decomposition of the additive group of m is called a graded a module if a times n times mm this should be contained in m n plus m for all n m in natural numbers all right what more do i need now um oh uh, when do you call um uh, sub sub module as sub module of a graded module to be graded ah before i forget these elements of similar to the graded ring elements of mm are called homogeneous elements of degree m okay so the sub module a sub module and a sub module so now graded ring is fixed in the notation so an a sub module n of m and m is graded is called a graded sub module if if i take the intersections of n with the homogeneous components mm of m then this direct sum is precisely everybody so in other words if you look at this direct sum this this additive subgroups of n that direct sum is precisely n that means every element of n you can write it as uh, uh, sum of homogeneous elements 
from n in a unique way. So, the simple lemma will illustrate. So, lemma. So, m graded a module or a graded ring. A and N is a submodule of M, then the following conditions are equivalent. One M N is a graded submodule of M. Two n is generated by homogeneous elements. And three, whenever if Y belong to N, then certainly it belongs to M. So Y will have a decomposition like this. So Y zero plus Y one plus 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 Y R with Y I is in M I. So if you take Y. Then these small y i's are called homogeneous components of this y. Then all the homogeneous components y i belong to n for all i from zero to r. Then it is a then it is a graded submodule. So I will not prove this. So proof is very simple. Just check from definition. Easy verification. From definitions. All right. So graded uh, graded submodules. Of the ring itself, they are submodules of the ring are ideals. So the graded submodules are precisely graded ideals or also I will use the term homogeneous ideals. So let's see couple of examples. If I take A to be the polynomial ring, say uh, A say A zero x, or if you want, you can simply take A not to be k. So polynomial in one variable over a field. Then the ideal generated by X, this is homogeneous ideal. Because it is generated by homogeneous element. Whereas if I take ideal generated by something like this, X square plus X, this is not homogeneous ideal. Because this element has two homogeneous components, one is x square, the other is x, one has degree 2, the other has degree 1 and neither of them belong to this ideal. Therefore, it is not a homogeneous ideal and you could do it more variables also. So this, you can do this for polynomial ring in many variables. 
and just to, uh, to say some the grading we have considered here or so far is standard grading standard means that means to the polynomials we have attached the usual degree as a grading index but whereas one can do a different grading for example for example another example let us do it suppose i take polynomial ring in two variables x and y and suppose i now give a grading so degree of x i say it is 2 and degree of y is 3 suppose i declare that then you can for any polynomial you can decide what the grade uh, grade is, uh, what the degree is so that is the grading index for example now x square will have degree uh, grading index what 4 uh, and if i take x square or x cube minus y square this monomial will have degree 6 and this also will have degree 6 so this will become a homogeneous homogeneous of degree 6 so in this when i try to write the decomposition for this ring as an n in n this an should be generated as a uh, by uh, any the vector space k vector space gen with basis whose monomials have degree n but weighted degree so weight 2 to x and weight 3 to y so this is uh, some for example there is no degree one element in this a1 is missing a1 is zero actually And so on. So sometimes this is also useful. This give uh, arbitrary natural numbers to the variables and consider the grading, or not even natural numbers, even the integers. So sometimes even useful to have minus uh, weighting. Uh, so this, for example, this polynomial is not homogeneous in a usual way. but in this case in this uh, new degrees it became homogeneous so that is useful for computing computation of dimension or other invariants of the ring so i think i will uh, recall whenever i need more about graded rings and models there is i will not do exhaustive thing now and then what i want to do is i want to do i want to attach a polynomial to a graded model so what what we would like to do is to each graded module so our graded ring is fixed to h to each m which is graded and and the grading of m i would allow to be negative integers also with the same same definition now that definition doesn't so it's only thing we need is this condition an times am is containing n plus m for all n m n natural number and m to be integer may make sense so to such each such module i want to attach a polynomial with coefficients in rational numbers with rational coefficients and the degree of that polynomial i want to relate to the dimension that is the whole idea of this full section and as a result as the immediate corollary you will see it is finite because it is degree of some polynomial and therefore cruel dimension will be finite 
So, whereas it was not clear from a definition of a crude dimension that it is if at all it is finite. So, we have proved it for polynomial ring over a field or a finite type k algebras it is finite. But in general definition of a crude dimension does not immediately say that it is always finite and in fact it may not be finite, but for this class of rings it will be finite and that is what the theory I want to develop now. So, uh, only assumption I want to make on this module is for large negative integers it is 0, it does not go to on the left side to the all the way non-zero. So, we will assume here that m suffix m is 0 for m less equal to from fixed edge m 0. So, that means on the it, it looks like that on the negative side only finitely many terms can be non-zero. So, it is like Laurent polynomial ring. Okay. I will first consider uh, our ring let me write uh, instead of uh, a notation I will write r as a ring r is r 0 r 1 etcetera. This is the gradation and r 0 this r 0 I will assume it is is finite dimensional or r 0 is finite k algebra where k is a field that is the first I want to do it finite as a module it is a k vector space. So, k vector space. finite dimensional k vector space. So, that is dimension of r 0 k this is finite. So, in a if, if one gets stuck one should always go back to the polynomial ring example. In that case r 0 is actually k and r 1 is uh, generated by the x 1 to x n as a vector space. R2 will be generated by homogeneous monomials of degree 2 and so on. Alright, so um, and I will assume that as a R0, um, R is finite type R0 algebra. R naught is a subring of R. So, R naught uh, R is a algebra or R naught and as a algebra it is generated by finitely many elements. So, in our standard notation R, R looks like R 0 and generated by now I will write the generators as x 1 small x 1 to x n. And this x1 to xn are homogeneous elements. So, first of all, R is finite type R0 algebra. So, R is over R0 generated by finitely many elements, and each element is a finite sum of homogeneous elements. So, I will add all the homogeneous components and assume that x 1 to x n are all homogeneous and therefore, they will have some degrees. So, those degrees I will call homogeneous elements or positive degrees gamma 1 to gamma n. So, for example, if all gamma are 1, so uh, one example you should see here. So, typical example will be 
or polynomial algebra r is the polynomial algebra so this is our r not and this guy is our homogeneous of degree 1 so uh, in this case all gamma 1 all this gamma n r1 so such situation in if all gamma is are equal to 1 then one calls it is a standard graded algebra standard means all the generators are all homogeneous of degree 1 all right now uh, you take and remember we are considering i want to attach a polynomial that is our aim to a graded module we want to attach some polynomial with rational coefficients so take a module m m could have some uh, negative homogeneous components but not too many so and mm is zero for all m less than m0 for a fixed m0 so then you look at this mm so dimension all these mms are r not modules and i am assuming that um, we assume that uh, all these mms are finitely generated r not modules so therefore and r not is a uh, finite dimensional vector space therefore in turn all these mms are also k vector spaces of finite dimension so dimension of mm as a k vector space this integer this is some integer this i want to denote by hm of m so that means i have defined this means i have defined a map hm from these integers to natural numbers in any m it goes to dimension of mm for large negative this function is zero actually and i consider now the power series so it's 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 easier to you will see it's easier to compute with the power series because that if you take that as a generating function combinatorial formulas will be easier to check if you write in terms of power series so look at this power series this is m in z hm at m and i need a variable for power series right so zm this is a power series with integer coefficient and some may come negative powers right so this is actually this is belongs to let me write and then we'll explain so integer coefficients power series in z and maybe polynomial in z inverse so it will start with some few negative terms and then the power series so you it's it's a power series with power series coefficient with and a polynomial in minus z power minus 1 so this is called this i want to introduce this is pm pmz so this is called a poincare series c 
series of m. 